Good morning. Welcome to our community mass at St. Bernadette as we celebrate Wednesday of the 21st week of Ordinary Time. Mass today is offered for the intentions of the Skuchart family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amidst the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We instruct you, brothers and sisters, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, to shun any brother who walks in a disorderly way and not according to the tradition they received from us. For you know how one must imitate us. For we did not act in a disorderly way among you, nor did we, feed, nor did we eat food received free from anyone. On the contrary, in toil and drudgery, night and day we worked, so as not to burden any of you. Not that we do not have the right. Rather, we wanted to present ourselves as a model for you so that you might imitate us. In fact, when we were with you, we instructed you that anyone was, any, if anyone was unwilling to work, neither should they eat. May the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord be with all of you. This greeting is in my own hand, Paul's. This is the sign in every letter. This is how I write. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed, blessed are those who fear the Lord. Behold, thus is, is the man's blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees! You are like whitewashed tombs which appear beautiful on the outside, but inside are full of dead men's bones and every kind of filth. Even so, on the outside you appear righteous, but inside you are filled with hypocrisy and evil doing. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You build the tombs of the prophets and adorn the memorials of the righteous. And you say, if we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have joined them in shedding the prophets' blood. Thus you bear witness against yourselves that you who are the children of those who murdered the prophets now fill up what your ancestors measured out. The Gospel of the Lord. 
So I don't know. It's eight o'clock in the morning. This is the first day of school. Andy was stuck in the carpool line for like how long? Like 20, minutes. 20 minutes. We almost didn't get masks on. There's people walking up outside. It's like crazy this morning. First day of school is always bad for carpool, but this year we have what, 60 new families, uh, 60 new families that are joining us, so it's incredible. So um, first thing I want to say is today for our mass, let's keep our school and our mass intentions. All those um, children and teachers who are who are, who are making this great effort to, to come back to school. But I also want to talk about this gospel this morning because we have, um, well, it's similar to yesterday. Jesus is calling out the Pharisees. Actually, he's calling out anybody who's a hypocrite. And the hypocrite, just because it gives a bad, so the whole first reading was about how St. Paul was saying, we gave you a good example we worked hard, we earned whatever we got, and you saw the right way to live because that's the way we were living. This, this witness of, the, of right living is something that's so important. The ability to reveal to other people your vulnerability, your humility, really, isn't it? Humility. It's the, because none of us are really that special, and those who want us to think they're so special or want to be thought of as very special all the time, that's hypocrite, that's hypocrisy. That's, that shows some kind of internal deficit, deficiency. I, I, I think that what Jesus is saying, you know, when he calls out the Pharisees, he's like, you better not just look good on the outside, but you better be good on the inside. And um, this is similar to yesterday's homily, which is fortunate because I had mass in the church, so I can kind of use a similar homily today online. But there's, there's a reason for that, that we need to give good witness to one another. Obviously, we need to build each other up through good example. We need to um, edify one another, which means to inspire each other to be better. But there's also an internal component to this, which I think is really important. And I, I was given, or I was, I per maybe when I was in Jerusalem, I purchased this book. I don't remember. I don't think it was a gift, but it, it's a, it's someone who writes about the Quran, and he writes messages of because you know there's so much in our culture today that wants to say that the Quran is a is a book about death and killing, and it certainly it has those elements too, but far more than that, it has messages of loving kindness and mindfulness and it wants and so this guy writes this book about all these quotes from from the muslim tradition about how we should live our lives and the one that struck stuck with me for a few days now is it says if your heart is pure the only thing you will see is beauty so what's inside the cup and what's outside the cup or what's inside the tomb and what's outside the tomb is really not not only for the edification or the witness to others, but it's also for your own well-being, for your own inner peace. You can't live like a hypocrite. And unfortunately, our world is so full of examples to follow that are examples of hypocrisy, people who are saying one thing and doing something completely else, people who are trying to rewrite history. Uh, every culture is trying to rewrite the history to make themselves look better. It's a, it's a weird place we're living today because the truth really is not inside people. And if the truth is not inside people, then how can we see it in them? The takeaway from today's Mass, obviously, is that we have to be people who have that purity, inner purity, so that what we experience in the world is beauty, and that so what others might experience in us is the truth. And we pray today for that in a special way for that intention, that we might be people of the truth, that we might be transparent enough so that people, when they look at us, they don't see us at all. They see Christ living in us. Now let us stand for our prayers of the faithful. We pray for our leaders in the church, that like St. Paul, they may conduct themselves in such a way as to be an example of holiness for the imitation of God's people. We pray to the Lord. That the Lord of peace may give to our hearts, our homes, and our world peace at all times and in every way. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are infected with the disease of hypocrisy, whose hearts do not match the role they play before others, 
that they may receive the great grace of insight and conversion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who are forced to labor in toil and drudgery under the trials and burdens of life, that they may find loving hearts and willing hands to help them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, that the grace of the Lord Jesus may be with them, purifying them and leading them to their heavenly home. We pray to the Lord. And for all the intentions that we include in the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we trust in your mercy and love, and we ask you to hear and answer our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us the gifts of unity and peace in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to the gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exultation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. O God, protector of all who hope in you, bless your people, keep them safe, defend them, prepare them, that free from sin and safe from the enemy, they may persevere always in your love through Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Have a good day.